at this point in time, we are through the looking glass with the Trump campaign. Okay? We, you guys all know that for the last decade, Donald Trump has been attacking every single judge that has ever ruled against him in any way, shape, or form. He has attacked Supreme Court justices. He has attacked uh, federal judges, appellate judges. He, he has attacked the judiciary and judges nonstop since he got into politics. And hell, even when he was a private citizen, he had shit to say about judges. But just let's take his political career alone. The last decade, you know how much he has attacked the judges. So to hear him say what I'm about to show you is absolutely fucking insane. Trump says Americans who criticize the Supreme Court for overturning Roe v. Wade should be imprisoned. Quote, these people should be put in jail for the way they talk about our judges and justices. Let me repeat that for you because it bears repeating. These people should be put in jail for the way they talk about our judges and justices. Put in jail for the way they talk. That is the textbook definition of a violation of one's First Amendment right to free speech. But more to the point, who the fuck are you to be saying this? Let's break down some of the people that you have attacked in the judiciary. Justices Sonia Sotomayor and Ruth Bader Ginsburg. You can pause to read these here. Here. Attacked Amy, uh, Judge Amy Berman Jackson following the Roger Stone case. Pause to read here. Attacked the judiciary following the asylum ruling. Pause to read here. And here. Attacks on the Carter Page FISA application. Pause to read here. Attacks on the judiciary following the DACA ruling. Pause to read here. Critique of the Bergdahl ruling, pause to read here. Attacks on the judicial system in response to terrorist attacks, pause to read here. Donald Trump has been attacking judges and the judiciary system as a whole for long before he was ever in politics. But just dealing with his political career, he has been attacking judges, justices, and, and the judicial system as a whole pretty much ongoing for a decade. This is a guy who said that a Hispanic judge could not be impartial to him because he was Hispanic. Now, he wants to imprison anyone who dares disagree with the Supreme Court over the overturning of Roe v. Wade. That is straight-up fascism. If you still walk into a voting booth and pull the lever for this man in 40 days, you should be ashamed of yourself. He went, once again, let's, let's look at the quote again. These people should be put in jail for the way they talk. That's fascism. 